what's everybody doing? So today I thought I would talk about a challenge I've just seen and I do not understand why people do this. Because you know they have like the whole hickey challenge to where you put makeup on your neck, making it look like you have a hickey, but you don't, and then the person that you would sees it, and then they you're like questioning, like why do you have a hickey on you, and you act like you have no idea what they're talking about until you take it so far to where I guess it could be turned to an argument, whatever. Then you take the hickey off, which is probably just makeup, and, re- and like hey look I didn't do anything. It's supposed to be a funny challenge, just like this new challenge of the boyfriend challenge, to where you take text your boyfriend, hey, my boyfriend's not here, you wanna come over? I don't understand this. Like, why would you want to make your boyfriend or your girlfriend think that you're cheating on them when they're not? So when they come to your house because they got this text, like, why are they cheating me that their boyfriend's not over? I'm their boyfriend. Making them think you text somebody else, so when they arrive, it's just you and you're like, hey, and like, what the hell is this? Where's the person at that you text? Oh, there's nobody else here. You, you know, you're the only person I'm with. Yeah. It's like, why are we doing these dumb challenges? Why the hell would anybody want to make a challenge to make the person that you would think that you're cheating on them? Why would you want to prank them like that? I wouldn't like that. I mean, I know some people think, oh my god, these challenges are just supposed to be for fun, okay? I'm not supposed to be taken seriously. Okay, I can understand the whole fun and games with it. But, why don't, I mean, they also have like the cinnamon challenge, you swallow a spoonful of cinnamon. Very bad for your health. Then that, that condom challenge of filling up a condom with water, putting it on your head, and then when it busts or whatever, it can almost suffocate you, I guess? Like, why don't we come up with a new challenge? Instead of all these dumb little challenges that are supposed to be for fun, but when you think about it, it's actually not that fun. I know young kids are gonna think, oh, you're just that cool. It's just for fun, oh my gosh. Well, why don't we come up with other challenges? Like, instead of pranking your boyfriend or girlfriend to think that you're, like, cheating on them or whatever, why not the, um, romantic challenge? Make a challenge to see how romantic romantic you could be, or good deed challenge. Challenge yourself to do as many good deeds today as you can. Better yourself challenge. Challenge yourself to, you know, become a better person. Whatever it is that you want to change about yourself, do it and push yourself to be better. Why not do stuff like that? I mean, there are pranks that are funny, but the whole cheating thing, I think they kind of need to stop with that whole, you know, cheating and, oh, I'm gonna, you know, prank the person I'm with thinking that I'm cheating on them and make them think that, but then I'm gonna, you know, reveal the prank. I mean, it may be fun afterwards for y'all, like, oh, oh, that was actually kind of funny. Do it again, I'm gonna smack you upside the head. But why don't we come up with other challenges? Better challenges. That's what I challenge y'all to do. Challenge of the day. Text someone that, you know, is a good friend, you know, family member, someone that you really like having in your life. And, you know, I challenge you to text that person and let them know how you feel about them. Hey, I'm glad you're in my life. Thanks for being here. You're such, you know, a cool, awesome person. I appreciate all that you do for me. Or, thank your parents challenge. Or, thank your parents day challenge. I guess you could say like that. (laughs) Challenge yourself to, you know, parent appreciation challenge. How about that? That's what we'll call it. Challenge yourself to let your parents know how much you appreciate them. Hey, Mom, Dad, I know I can be a little spawn of saint sometimes and such a spoiled little brat, but I appreciate everything you do for me. Thank you so much. You know, I wouldn't have made this far without y'all. Why not do something like that? So that's what I challenge y'all to do. Instead of coming up with those goofy little pranks, come up with something good. You know, the elderly challenge. Do what you can to help the elderly. If you see a woman across the street who's struggling, help her. If you see somebody in a motorized wheelchair having trouble putting groceries in their car, you know, offer your assistance. Things like that. So you got just a little food for thought today. Hope y'all have a great week and I'll talk to y'all later.